be murder right now. Step in, lose yourself like right now. Fam, 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 family. Hey, yo, I'm having flu today, but I hope I'm going to cope through this. Um, Welcome to the Music Minute Show, where we bring you interesting and unknown facts about musicians in just a few minutes. Today's episode is all about the Ukrainian band Daka Braka. This unique group has been captivating audiences with their blend of traditional Ukrainian music and modern influences. So, today we are just going to explore their background, discography and some fun facts about the band. So, let's dive in. And as you know, as usual, uh, we're just going to discuss them in less than 10 minutes. So, let's begin. Daka Braka is a Ukrainian band formed in 2004 in Lviv, Ukraine. The group consists of four members, which is Marko Haleneveki, Ariana Kovalenko, Olena Tsipulska, and Nina Herenska. They are known for the use of traditional Ukrainian instruments such as the cello, the buka, and the, the accordion. Is it accordion? Accordion. But yeah. And they also incorporate beatboxing and electronic music. The band's name Daka Braka translates to give or take in Ukrainian. And this reflects the band's mission to take traditional Ukraine music and give it a modern twist. Their discography includes six albums starting with their debut album Ethno Hormotska in 2006. They have since released Light in 2014. Shows Port Duba in 2015, Alambari in 2017, and Nameji in 2021. Their music has been featured in several films and television shows, including the hit HBO series The Leftovers. And one interesting fact about the band is that they originally formed to accompany performances at the Dark Theatre in Lviv. Now, the members of the band were all involved in the theater and they formed the band as a side project, imagine. However, the band quickly gained popularity and became a full-time project and now we have Daka Braka blessing us with their music everywhere. Daka Braka has won several awards for their music, including the Best World Music Album at the 2019 Ukrainian Music Awards. They have also performed at major music festivals around the world, including Glasnobari, Bonaru, and Womad. And I don't know these music festivals, but then I'm going to check them out. If you do know them, please do tell me uh, on the comments below if you've ever been there what they really about and have you ever enjoyed them which one is best uh, compared to the other but yeah so in conclusion uh, Daka Braka is so successful because of its unique blend of traditional Ukrainian music with contemporary influences, their use of non-traditional instruments and their captivating live performances that have won over audiences around the whole world. And the band's mission to preserve and give a modern twist to traditional Ukrainian music has struck a chord with listeners from different backgrounds and cultures. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about this fascinating band and make sure to check out their music and also my reactions to their music i have plenty of them i've checked their live performances i've checked their music videos i've checked their audios and last time i checked their rap it was called Capitanian rap i was so blown away i was left in awe because i didn't expect this the way they blend in the way they change their styles it's just crazy how they introduce a uh, folk music in a modern way and they make sure that they preserve uh, the folk and traditional way of music not to mention how they use the the traditional instruments without relying mostly on the electronic or the modern uh, instruments such as um, like the generators of like the drum generators the electronic ones so i like that about them do tell me if you like the band and who is your favorite band member if you have any and what's your favorite song from the band hopefully i'll hear from you so uh, 
don't forget to subscribe to the channel i have more short uh, form podcast coming uh, please do tell me which al- uh, which band or album or which artist you like to see me um, talk about in the next episode family hey.